The woke mainstream sports media is a complete and total joke. And one of the reasons that so many people have left mainstream sports news is because they are solely concerned with identity politics, social justice, and all the garbage that's driven entertainment down the toilet everywhere else as well. And they're solely focused on race. They're silent when you have something like the NFL or the NBA, overwhelmingly predominantly black players. Nothing wrong with that. No, no stances that you need to take. But when it comes to another sport, when it comes to Major League Baseball or even something like hockey, as soon as there's not enough black players, you start to hear about that constantly. And that's exactly what we're talking about in the lead up to the World Series. AP sounds the alarm over lack of American-born black players in the World Series. Now, of course, uh, you do have a lot of diversity. You do have people from Latin America. You do have things like that. But they weren't American-born black players, so we have a problem with that. It's just not diverse enough for us. This is following last week. Was it last week when this news got announced? NHL, its workforce 84% white, sets baseline to up diversity. You know, it's almost like these sports are different. It's almost like these sports have a different demographic, like they cater to different people, like there's a different fan base, and all of that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. In the same way that there's nothing wrong with 70, 80% of NFL players or NBA players being black, because guess what? They're the best people for the job. They're the best people at their position. They are talented. It is a fucking meritocracy. That is why so many people love sports. But the woke mainstream media are throwing a hissy fit over this year's World Series. In a Wednesday op-ed, the Associated Press expressed its outrage that for the first time since 1950, there will be no black players taking the field during Major League Baseball's World Series game. In his op-ed, AP writer Ben Walker was seen wringing his hands at the World Series kicks off on October 28th that there will be no U.S.-born black players on the field. He quotes an alarm Bob Kendrick, president of the Negro League Baseball Museum in Kansas City, who said, that is eye-opening. That is eye-opening. It's somewhat startling that two cities that have high African-American populations, there's not a single black player. So, okay, I'm going to try to be as nice as I can to Bob Kendrick. You're a stupid motherfucker. The idea that you think that simply a professional sports league being located in a city that has a high African-American population, how does that have any correlation to the people that you get on your team? You're building a roster to help you win, not to represent whatever your city's diversity is. That's so stupid. Like, is it weird to you? Weird to you that the Seattle Seahawks have a lot of black players on their team, even though that city doesn't have a ton of black people. Like it's a very, very white city. Is that shocking? What about the Denver Broncos? Very white city. Is it weird that they have so many black players? Are you worried about that? Go fuck yourself, you stupid piece of shit. These people are so stupid. Uh, The op-ed also grumbles that starting in 1954, when Willie Mays and the Giants played Larry Dobby in Cleveland, Every single team to reach the World Series had one U.S.-born black player until 2005. The Astros didn't. The Chicago White Sox had a ton of black people on their staff, though, at 12 people, according to what this article is saying. The AP piece is somewhat misleading in that Walker does not note until deep down the Astros actually have two black players on the roster, Michael Brantley and Josh James, but they're injured. They've got medical issues. That's one of the reasons they're not playing in the World Series. Still, the number of black players did drop this year. Last season, 7.2% of players were U.S.-born black. This year, it fell slightly to 72 By comparison, in 1996, 18% of players were black. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Why should it matter? Why should it matter? The number of which color people are playing in Major League Baseball at the time. Because again, this is about a meritocracy. This is about who is the best for the field. And... Maybe uh, over the course of the past few decades, maybe you've had people that have become more interested in the NFL or the NBA or things like that than they are in playing baseball. Maybe that's the reason. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing fucking sinful or terrible or disastrous about no black players being on the field. It's not a fucking big deal. But the truth is, this is all the media cares about. They don't care about how good the product is. They don't care about how entertaining it is. Uh, They might not even mention that Dusty Baker is a black manager for the Houston Astros. They just want to hold on to one little thing and make that the biggest issue they possibly can because they're race baiting piles of garbage. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.